Hello, 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 Shin here, and welcome to Creative First Adventures. Obviously, everybody and their grandmother has used that particular name, so I'll have to come up with something original. But in the meantime, quick explanation of what we will be doing. There is an Adventures setting in your main menu, and when you go there, you will see Adventures. Duh. Featured adventures are the ones that pop up uh, immediately. You can check out popular adventures, which have high ratings. And when you complete an adventure, you can give it a, a like, basically. There are no dislikes allowed at the moment. Um, new adventures are featured here. Your own adventures are or are not featured here, depending on if you've made them. And you can also do a search for specific adventures made by players or by the title. So in this series we will check out one or more adventures each episode. And you can see there are a lot of adventures. This is just in the popular. Um, it will increase and decrease with time. Some adventures are very short, such as the Item adventures. Item adventures are adventures where it's usually just a room or museum or something where you can actually pick up recipes. For example, the free recipes adventure. It's one small room with a chest and you open up the chest and there are recipes inside. Take what you need, use it, and then leave and you will have those particular recipes forever and ever and ever unless you um, create or join a world that does not allow that in which case you will have to find those recipes again um, although I'm pretty sure the system is not set up that way and once you have a recipe in one world you will always have it for your character uh, you just have to rediscover it um, in terms of the ingredients and stuff and unlock it again but you will not need to find the recipe itself. Um, some adventures require some skill, such as the Deadfall Challenge, where you will have to try and stay alive while falling down a very deep pit. Um, some require some parkour skills, lots of jumping and platforming, things that I'm terrible at. Some adventures are literally just tours like Avalar E.D.'s Gallery World, and I'm a little bit surprised he spelled his name with lowercase letters like that. Shame on you, Avalar. But if you go into that world, you, it, you're not going to find a great adventure or free recipes per se, but you will get to go around and look at all of the recipes that he has unlocked if he has um, created a museum or you will be able to explore various builds and in the case of the gallery world Avalar has taken a lot of time and I mean a lot of time to make each and every building on the um, in the uh, blueprints tab he owns all of the blueprints he has painstakingly not only built them but come up with a chart or display of every single block needed, the size and proportions, and all sorts of other little tidbits so that anything you wanted to know or did not want to know about a recipe, a particular, I keep calling them recipes, a particular blueprint, um, you will find it there. German Knights, for example, is another uh, tour type world where you can go in and explore a medieval style or actually closer to Renaissance style uh, village or city. Um, other ones are roller coasters and uh, various displays. This one, uh, this particular person has a serious reputation for amazing art, as you can see. Um, it is all done with blocks that you can get 
Um, I don't even know if he uses premium blocks, but you can see just how amazing the artwork is. And this particular tour, um, we might go on it, but it's essentially, um, it's essentially just a gallery where you ride a roller coaster and, uh, take a tour. A few other ones, though which are ones that we will probably be focusing on a lot are some of the adventures the adventurous adventures I should say um, to find one that I saw that was particularly interesting Shadow has already played it Mouse House and as you see when you click on it, you get the screen Mission Get the Cheese and yes it is a giant house I have no idea how they quite pulled this off, but it is absolutely gorgeous to go through here and you can see a giant refrigerator and you're just a little teeny guy running around this world. I don't know what else to say about it. You'll, you, you have to see it though um, to truly appreciate it and see it you will. Um, a special note, while we do have a lot of these variety of uh, just a nice big variety I just want to point out this one in particular Dom Throws Day Spot and Dungeon I've watched Shadow play it it's not the easiest to uh, make it through but what I wanted to make special note of was the creator Playful David if you've watched uh, Creativeverse TV or CVTV, you will know him pretty well. He is actually one of the creators of Creativeverse and one of the more public faces of the Creativeverse um, crew over at Playful. And considering Playful seems to be focusing on this game, I should just say that Playful and Creativeverse are one and the same at the moment. Although they have made another game which at some point we are definitely going to try out, even though I suck at platforming. But anyway, I thought that this was amazing that even the even the creators of the game are getting involved, and he does some pretty neat stuff with some of the blocks. And a lot of the tricks they've actually learned from the players. Uh, one other type to mention, by the way, Stay Alive. Just stay alive is all there is to it. It is literally an arena where you fight to the death, or hopefully not to the death, against, in this case, a bunch of angry pigsies. And you will see a lot of these um, cropping up probably over time. Some adventures are more peaceful than others. But that is Creativeverse Adventures. And as I said, throughout this series, we will be trying them out. Sometimes one, sometimes multiple. But in the end, we will have a good chunk and a nice variety. So look forward to it as I am. And until next time, brush up on your parkouring skills, and I will see you all again very, very, very soon.